How is it going everybody? You're watching Then About Tech and today I'm going to show you how to reset your Mac. And by reset, I mean delete all of its content. So all your files, documents, apps, absolutely everything that you may have on your Mac is going to be gone. So it's going to look like it's brand new out of the box. And this is extremely useful if you're going to sell your Mac or give it away to somebody or even trade at an Apple store or something like that. Or even maybe, uh, let's say you want to have that brand new experience, better performance, so you just want to completely reset your Mac to have that brand new feeling. Keep in mind that this process is 100% updated, so I'm running Mac OS Big Sur on my Mac right here, but this process also works on older versions of Mac OS. And I'm also going to show you how to do it on the new MacBooks with the M1 chip. So no matter what Mac you have, old, new, like brand new, no matter what, this process got you covered. So let's get started. So in order to reset your Mac, you're going to need to do three quick things. The first thing you're going to need to do is actually go ahead and open up music or depending on your Mac, depending on your Mac OS version is going to be iTunes. Okay. But it's pretty much the same thing. Uh, and then you're going to need to go ahead and tap on account at the top bar. Okay. And then authorizations and then deauthorized this computer and then you're going to be prompted uh, with this enter Apple ID and password. Uh, let me quickly explain you this. This is pretty much because uh, you can only play content on five different computers using the same Apple ID. Uh, so it's important to deauthorize this if you're going to sell it or give it away to somebody else. Okay. So just deauthorize and then put your password, your Apple ID password. So keep in mind that if you're doing that just to make your Mac faster and have it brand new, but you're still gonna keep it, you can skip this step, right? So uh, deauthorize because most people are gonna need to do it. And then you're good for the first step is actually very, very fast. So this computer has been successfully deauthorized. So you can OK and you can close music. Next, we're going to need to sign out from our Apple ID. So we're going to need to go to system preferences, then tap on Apple ID. And then we're going to need to go ahead and tap on overview and then sign out. Keep in mind that depending on your Mac OS version, maybe it's going to be down here. The position of the sign out button may vary a bit, but the important part is to sign out from your Apple ID. All right. So sign out, then uh, you can keep a copy, whatever. Um, it doesn't matter because we're going to delete the whole thing. Um, and then, of course, sign out and remove cards. So we're going to sign out and remove the whole thing. Please pay attention to those warnings, especially the ones regarding iCloud. So for example, this one is saying that iCloud photos is still updating. So maybe for you, you have photos on your Mac that have not been uploaded to iCloud, meaning that if you just completely turn off, um, you may lose those photos. So pay attention to those iCloud stuff, to that iCloud stuff to make sure that everything on your computer has been uploaded. Okay. In my case, I already know, so I can turn it off. Um, I can delete from Mac because uh, I don't want it anymore. So I can delete from Mac. Uh, we also going to need to put in the password. So our Apple ID password for a find my Mac, as you guys can see right here, just to turn it off. So after you type in your Apple ID password, you can go ahead and continue. As you see, I forgot uh, my Apple ID for the first time. I mistyped something. So continue. And after a few moments, it's going to automatically sign out the whole thing. And you're going to be presented with the system preferences screen. Uh, and you're going to see sign into your Apple ID. So you know that your Apple ID has been successfully signed out and removed from this computer. And last but not least, we can close system preferences and open up messages or iMessages, depending on your Mac OS version. Then we're going to go ahead and tap on messages preferences. And as you can imagine, we're just going to sign out from iMessages as well, because for some reason, uh, it doesn't do it automatically. So we're going to go ahead and tap on message. And then as you guys can see here, there's my Apple ID there and my number and everything. I have blurred all that info just for privacy reasons. But as you guys can see, we have sign out. So you can go ahead, sign out and press on sign out once again. So then as you guys can see, it just quits and opens up again 
this time without the Apple ID. So now we're ready. So I'm sorry that it actually takes a few steps, but we have to do it just to make sure everything is done perfectly. And now all we have to do is turn off our computer. But before we do that, it's very, very important that you do this process while plugged in to the charger. As you guys can see, I'm plugged in. My Mac is charging, as you guys can see here, and I recommend that you do that as well. Do it while you're charging because if your battery dies on the process, uh, you may have issues. Okay, so make sure to do this while you have it plugged in. So now all you have to do is actually uh, go ahead and shut down the computer. So you press and shut down and then shut down again to turn off the Mac. So the next step is to put the Mac in recovery mode. And that's the only step which there's a little bit of a difference depending on what processor your Mac uses. So remember I was talking about the M1 chip Macs? Yeah, that's it. So if you have a normal Intel based Mac, which pretty much everyone does, okay, uh, is the one which has an Intel Core i3, i5, i7, you're gonna follow the first method. If you have an M1 chip, so the brand new ones that are just uh, introduced, you're gonna follow the second method. I'm gonna show both. So first, we have the Intel based, which is this one, is the Mac I have. So all you have to do is turn it on, so press the power button, and as soon as you see the Apple logo on the screen, you're gonna press Command R. Okay, so Command R right here on the keyboard, Command R. If you have an M1 chip Mac, you're gonna again press on the power button and you're gonna keep holding it. Okay, so you're gonna press and keep holding for five seconds and then you're gonna get to the same screen. Okay, so pressing the home button. So the computer is starting, Command R. So as you see, it's instant. Press on the home button, on the power button. You see the uh, Apple logo, press Command R and keep holding. So keep holding. You're seeing my hands, keep holding, keep holding, keep holding until we see the loading bar below the Apple logo. Okay, it may take a few seconds, so just bear with me and be patient. Right now we see the little bar, so we can let go. There's a loading bar, we can let go, and the Mac will start up in recovery mode. It's gonna be the same thing for the M1 chip, so you're gonna press and hold the power button, and you're gonna keep holding until we see uh, the, the same loading bar. And then we're gonna get to this screen, which is the macOS recovery, which may be a little bit different depending on your macOS version, but it's pretty much gonna be the same thing. Um, on all, all the latest versions of macOS, you're gonna see your profile picture or your name, so you're gonna see your uh, login, so you're gonna tap on that, and then tap on next, and then you're gonna put in the password, and that password is your Mac password, okay, just to boot it up, it's not the Apple ID or anything like that. And then as soon as you're logged in, you're gonna see uh, the recovery screen. So with all everything you can do, and first we're gonna need to go to disk utility. That's the tool we're gonna use to reset and delete everything and all the data on the Mac. So click on it, click on continue, and then you're gonna see your disks. And as you can see, we have two disks. We have Macintosh HD and Mac OS based system. So we're gonna be playing with, we're gonna be managing the Macintosh HD. This is very, very important, guys. So Macintosh HD is your hard drive, is where all your files and documents and apps and everything is stored in your Mac. So is your hard drive, that's what we wanna delete. And here on this graph, you can see how much we have used and how much we have free. So we just have, you can just see that there are a ton of gigs that are used right now occupied by my files and all. Below that, we have the macOS based system. And we do not, we don't want to play with this, okay? This is your base operating system. This is the OS itself. We don't wanna delete it, we don't wanna play with it or anything like that. If we delete this, there's gonna be a hassle. So don't play with it, okay? So let's go back to Macintosh HD. The first option, that's, I can't stress this enough, okay? So that's what we wanna delete. All you have to do now is go ahead and tap on Erase. So click on Erase, and then um, you can change your name if you want to, I, I recommend not to. Don't recommend, the, don't recommend to change the format or anything, just click on Erase and uh, let it do its thing, okay? So it's gonna erase all your data and all your files from Macintosh HD. Now it's just a matter of waiting. You can hit done, and as you guys can see, it goes automatically to macOS based system for some reason, but again, just do not 
play with this or erase anything go back to macintosh hd and as you guys can see some of the storage have freed but not the whole thing so go down to macintosh hd data because there's a little partition on every mac there's going to be this little partition so you have to see that you still have quite a lot of storage used as you guys can see right there from this gray area so go down to macintosh hd data and then you're gonna need to manually delete it as well. Okay, so go ahead and go to the minus button. Again, it may vary a little bit depending on your computer where this minus is. Delete it and erase it, and you're gonna need to get rid of that as well. Some people have a ton of uh, sub uh, Macintosh AG data, data, data. Delete everything. Okay, so if you have anything below Macintosh HD, you're gonna need to delete it until you see this. You see that it's completely empty, completely free, and as you guys can see, now you have successfully reset your Mac. You have no info, no data, no apps, absolutely anything in your Macintosh HD. Now, all you have to do is go up to Disk Utility. You're gonna go to Quit Disk Utility because now you're done. Uh, and then you're gonna need to reinstall Mac. So we're just gonna reinstall the operating system as easy as that. So tap on it, hit on next, and then you're gonna go ahead and install, and it's gonna probably say that you have to be connected to Wi-Fi. Um, yeah, you have to do that manually. So you can go ahead and hit on okay, um, or go straight to the Wi-Fi bars, connect to your Wi-Fi network, connect, put in your password, and hit okay. And then it's gonna go back again, right? And as soon as that is connected, you can go back again and install macOS. And this install macOS is that macOS based system that we had, that we didn't play with, that we didn't touch. If we touched that macOS based system, we wouldn't be able to reinstall macOS. So this is the process. We're gonna erase, um, reset the Macintosh HD, so delete everything from the HD and then reinstall the Mac OS. So then just hit next, 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 select the hard drive, which is Macintosh HD, which is completely empty and completely free for us. Continue, continue, and now it's just a matter of waiting. We're pretty much done with the process right, process right now. So now we're ready. As you can see, we have the welcome screen, meaning that the computer is ready to be set up as a brand new machine. So you can go ahead and set it up. Uh, if you want to still use it, or maybe if you just want to give it away or something, your computer is ready, empty and blank, ready to be given away to somebody or, or to be sold or anything like that. So that's pretty much it, guys. Hope you enjoyed it, and I'll see you in the next video.